Alright, what's up y'all, take a fan here. As I'm about to tell today's video, we're here to show you how and where to get all your trick or treat rewards in NBA 2K24. This will be coming out for midnight, whatever time zone you're in. So I'm obviously recording this a little bit early. I'm probably uploading a little bit early too. And I just want to show you what we're starting at, by the way. That's why we're not advancing on the screen or anything like that as far as the boost and Gatorade that I have for each category. But I wanted to get this video out early to allow you guys to know where you're gonna have to go when the time comes. And also, this is more of like a sound the alarms video. It's like to let you guys know this is a, th a thing actively so that nobody misses out on this and we can get as many people to know about this as possible. So, I will say, the rewards are not super amazing, anything like that. I, you did get a lot of boosts and a lot of Gatorade. We already showed you what we started at right there. And it's a lot. We're at like three on each Gatorade. I had like zero boost on some categories. And then maybe at like most, maybe like eight on some. Now, let me cut to the chase and show you at the very end here what I was actually thinking about doing here and explaining the roots. So anything that has like a house near it. So like these look like buildings, if you get what I'm saying. These are the routes that you want to take. You're looking for building routes that have like a lot of square rectangle shapes and stuff like that. It's what works out the most for what you're going to be getting at. So essentially you need to find doors that are actively available and I'll show you guys me going through them and stuff like that as well. Things like this though, they don't really apply to that. So like things like the prime arena and the rec and stuff like that, or like the starting five and you know, all, all this stuff down here, it doesn't really apply to that. It's I'm more so talking about these empty buildings with no logos on them or anything like that. And this is where you're gonna be finding a lot of them. So again, the routes that you want to mainly take are going to be around like these kind of uh, little side roads, if you will. And then you can obviously go all the way through this and then maybe go to the other ones as well. You can end up over here quite a bit. And then there's like a dead end one over here up top where I was at in the moment that I was recording this footage right here at the end. And yeah, essentially like through these little alleyways. So just wanted to make this a pretty quick video to give you guys some idea and like dialogue for what it's going to be looking like. So example number one, you got buildings like this where it's, you know, like just doors essentially. And as you can see, there's doors across over here. We got a bunch of like little spots on the right as well over there. But again, this is the majority of the stuff you're going to be looking for. And again, I'm not going to stretch this video out way too long. We're not going to make it the super like crazy long eight minutes, 10 minutes, like on some video like this. I just wanted to show you essentially what you're looking for. So again, it's alleyways, it's doors that you would have seen right there, for instance, as well. Some of them are active. Some of them aren't. I'm sure not every single door is supposed to be active. Also, then there were things like this too, where I didn't even know what the reward is because it just shows a 2K logo. I'm assuming it's something though. That was the only one, by the way, I remember it like very vividly as far as uh, that, that was the only one that didn't show literally what I get. Whereas like stuff like this, I also, as you can see, I was trying to scout out like if there's anything on the other end of it. I'm like, okay, nope, no, sir, there isn't. So time to go back and just go ahead and get the rewards that were behind us. And you will see they're going to they're going to show you exactly what you get. It'll say it. Sometimes the logo will look different, though. Like, for instance, uh, it'll, it'll show like Gatorade as the logo, when, even though it's like boost. But whatever it says, like verbally in terms of what it shows you is actually what it's going to be. But it only like for instance like that bones cap but it shows vc anyway let's go ahead and cut to the chase right here let's show you what i ended up with as far as all the rewards again i, I think i kept it pretty straightforward as far as the route you're gonna want to take but again i ended up i started with like maybe three gatorade in each category something like that we ended up with 33 28 and 18 the boosts are looking pretty solid as well some more fortunate than others and that's just how it is and then I would give you a rough estimation on the VC. I would say I was getting a lot that showed 50 and 100 and 250. I got some with 500, some with 750. So I, I totaled it out to my estimation, probably like only five or 10K VC. Is it worth your time investment? I still think so if you're someone that plays a lot of rec or pro-am because these boosts and Gatorade go a long, long way in terms of you not having to spend your own VC on them. If you're someone that does apply those to your build or for instance too, you could just have a couple, you know, like a good 20 or 30 game stretch of having some fun with the boosts and Gatorade if you don't typically use them as well. So I, I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, as you can see, I took around, let's say like 20 minutes to get all this done. But for the most part, I, I would actually say you could probably get it done in 15 now that I understand the route that you'd probably have to take. So right here, you can see I'm kind of, I'm kind of mapping it out in this where I'm talking like here's the areas you want to target these buildings down here or for instance the buildings over here toward like where the point is and like all the street ball courts and stuff like that it, the th things like the Gatorade and you know these big buildings and stuff like that they don't apply it's gonna be all these little side roads 
uh, all this stuff right here even where the brickley gym is and stuff like that too but you want to scavenge all this area again this is the dead uh the dead end zone that i was talking about right here where you go all the way up and you can't you can't really go anywhere from there so you gotta like backtrack and that'll be you know something you have to do a little bit you're gonna have to backtrack some areas but it is what it is then you can go across the event center and you can just go ahead and like you know scavenge these buildings a little bit too these are like the skyscraper ones with the like kind of glass doors if you will that i was showing and yeah I guess that's pretty much it for the video. So if y'all enjoyed the video and you want to show your support, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on noties, all good stuff. If you want to show more support and show that you made it to the end of this video, put Trick or Treat in the comments, show your support to through. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm pairing up with the NBA 2K Lab this year. So you can use code Laker for 20% off at checkout at their website. That's NBA2KLab.com. On this website is all types of really good statistical jump shot information. You can also test the jumpers on their website too. Plug the controller straight into your phone or to your PC. You can get early, green, late. It'll tell you where you need to adjust on that jump shot. Or if you don't know what jumper you want to run, you just go to their jump shot recommender. You punch in your height, the jump shot rating that you're working with, and then based on the milliseconds of timing that you get, it'll recommend you a jump shot. So again, if you want to use code Laker for 20% off at checkout, that's NBA2KLab.com. Appreciate you guys, and we'll get back to the video. So like always, I appreciate you guys watching this. It's obviously something that I prefer to do because obviously it's something that helps everybody in terms of their VC and Gatorade and stuff like that, and also just the boost too. And I figure we might as well get as many people to hear about this as possible so they don't miss out on it. And again, the earlier I upload it, the better it, out, it works out for that. And yes, I understand it does lead to some of you guys watching the video, even though you're not going to be able to actually access it at the time. But if you want to come back to this and, you know, use my own little map and stuff that I just showed you for what you can do with the route, feel free to do that as well. But obviously, like I said, we're trying to get as many people to see this within the window that it's going to be allowed and it'll probably end. I don't even know, probably within like 12 hours of when it comes out, maybe 24, I don't know. And I, I'm in Asia right now, shout out to the subscriber, I think his name was Reaper, it, who uh, sent me the invite, uh, shout out to him, appreciate it, and that's the reason I'm here early and showing you guys this stuff, because I do prefer to try and get in here early and let you guys know about this as soon as possible. But anyway, we're not going to you know extend this video any longer. Appreciate you guys watching, none of that, take these man, peace.